What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. My name is Indifon Tui and today I'll be showing you how to draft the shoulder ball steer cut. Now, this is the method I've been using over the years. It's guaranteed. This day, you know I like my things straight and simple, straightforward, easy. Don't play games with me. Anyway, not to waste your time. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you for the love and support I have received. We have been able to amass 6,000 subscribers on this channel in less than one month. So it's all, it's all you guys. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the support. I'll see you guys on Saturday. Mwah. You're welcome once again. These are the measurements that we'll be using to draft uh, shoulder bustier cuts. Now the first thing we're going to do is to fold our fabric so to fold our fabric we're going to use the formula that we have been using to fold our fabric which is the biggest measurement around the body divided by four plus the allowance we intend to use in this case the biggest measurement is the bust which is the, um, we now divide by four and add four inches i'll explain why we need as much as four inches as the video goes along So after I'm done folding, I'll secure my paper down using paper tape. Now from the top of the shoulder, I'm going to mark half an inch as we usually do. And I'm going to line from top to bottom. That is where I'm going to place my shoulder measurements. Now the shoulder measurement was 14 divided by 2, 7. So I'm going to now place 7 inches at that point. Now from that half inch, I'm going to place all my vertical measurements, which um, are my underboss lengths my half cut and then from there I'll find my bust. How to find the bust is from the under bust length you come up by 4 inches but in this case I came up by 3.5 because her bust is small. If I had used 4 inches it would still be okay. So I marked her under bust, her bust at 3.5 instead of 4 but if you place it at 4 inches from the under bust length it will still be fine. Now I'll just simply roll, roll lines across the all the points and then I'm simply labeling the points for you so the boss is 8.75 so I'm going to place it down at 8.75 I'm going to go down to my half cut and I'm going to place my under boss round measurement at my half cut now the um, under boss round measurement is 29 divided by 4 is 7.25 so I'm going to place 7.25 there then I'm going to rule a straight line for connecting my dots. The next thing I'm going to do is to draw out my neckline. Now for the neckline width, I'm going to use 4 inches. Exactly 8 inches divided by 2, 4. So I'm going to place 4 inches there. And then for my neckline depth, I'm going to use 6.5 inches. Now, usually after this point, I will slope my shoulder, but because I'm, I'm drafting a shoulder, a bossier cut that has a shoulder, I'm going to leave my shoulder and my arm hole. The, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my bust and I'm going to place my nipple to nipple measurement plus half divided by two plus half inch on every single line that we have. Then I would rule a line from top to bottom. So because her boss is 35, we're going to use 1.5 for the curve to mark the points that will place the curve at the under boss length. We'll come up from the half from the under boss length by half an inch for it to have that lift effect, and then we'll connect the 1.5 straight down. After doing this, I'm going to now make my curve. I see but said has a shoulder cut, so I'm going to come to the shoulder. I'm going to measure whatever I have left for my shoulder, which is 3, and the middle of 3 is 1.5, so I made the mark at 1.5. I'm going to connect that line to my bust. So this is a straight line running from the shoulder to the bust point. Now I need to create a dot at the top part to reduce any buffiness that would have that would occur around the top part of our bust. So from that line, I'm going to mark out by half an inch and mark in by one inch. So this is the one, this is a half inch line, and this is the one inch line. 
So from the center, I marked half inch out and one inch in. in. Now, if you notice, we have not placed the shoulder measurement, but I have not placed the arm hook. Before we do that, we're going to have to replace any measurements that we've taken out of the shoulder. Now that half plus one, which is 1.5, has to be replaced. So we're going to come after the line, I'm going to mark the 1.5 first of all. Now whatever we take away from that 1.5 has been replaced at that point. Now that's not all, because by the time we should join both sides together as half inch and half inch, it will reduce that 1.5 by one inch. So we have to replace that one inch. So at that point is where we would add our one inch. So let me add it. So I'm going to mark one inch here. The next thing I'm going to do is at this point, I'm going to come down by one inch. Then I'm going to slope my slant my shoulder by one inch. And at that point is where I'm going to place my arm hole. The first 1.5 was to pay for that 1.5 and that's the second one inch is to pay for the half inch that we would use for joining so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place my armhole using my boss divided by 6 plus 1.5 which is 7.3 so i'm going to mark 7.3 draw a straight line from top to bottom roll the line out as we usually do we come to the center of our armhole I'm going to mark the middle of our armhole and come in by half an inch. Then I'm going to make a curve and we have our armhole. The next thing I'm going to do is to pay for the 1.5 inch that I took away from the bottom. That 1.5 will place it on the side first. Which we're going to draw a line from the top from the top of the armhole to the bottom. Now this um, line will look different, would, would be different for everybody to have a different look depending on the person's body size. After the uh, 1.5 that I have replaced, I'm, I, I now drew my regular allowance of 2 inches. So we're basically done. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my shoulder allowance at the top for sewing. So I'm going to, I'm going to roll a line of half an inch at the top that's going to serve as a sewing allowance at the shoulder we are almost done the last thing that is done that's left for the front is to place half inch so that is it i'm going to now cut it out so this is how i cut it out That's the center front. So there we have the front, the center front, and the side of the front. Now for the back, what I'm first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark my zipper allowance before I start drafting. So I'm dropping two inches on the pattern paper, and that is going to serve as my zipper allowance. And the next thing I'm going to do is the same. This is what I did in front. I'm going to place half inch at the top for my shoulder allowance. After that, I'm going to place my shoulder. My shoulder was 14 divided by 2 is 7, so I'm going to place it at that point. Then, I don't want the, I'm going to place all my vertical, vertical measurements. So my underboss length was 13, half cut is at 15, boss is at um, 9.5 instead of at 9. If you place it at 9, that's completely fine. Wait, wait, I said I'm going to place it at 9. my bust 
I need to place my half course. Place my other portion on my half course. Connect the dots. Just use my neckline width at 4. I don't want it too low, so the neckline test I used 1.5. Then I'm going to slope my shoulder by 1 inch. Down by 7.3. I'm going to make a curve. Now remember that in front I don't come in at the arm at the back. I don't come in um, as uh, at the middle of the armhole by half inch. I just draw the curve. We don't need to come in. Do not come in at the middle of the armhole when you're making your curve. So now I've added my allowance on the side and I've added half inch at the um, bottom of my of my pattern. Then I'm going to mark half inch connect from the zipper allowance to the side of my pattern. That's going to reduce the buffiness that you would usually have at the zip. So I'm just labeling everything out for you guys. So half inch at the top. So we are done for the back. But done with the back is just to cut it out. You guys can cut it out. Now. Must I cut it for you people? Let me just cut it. So we have the center front, side of the front and the back pattern. Thank you.